Hello everyone! This is my quick review of the Masters of the Universe Classics Wonder! And here you can see him inside the package. And there is nothing, none whatsoever special about this package comparing it to the uh, other Masters of the Universe Classics packaging packages. And here you can see the back of the package. Nothing really special about that either. And here you can see Wonders Bio. which I'm not going to read to you but you can pause this video if you want to read it okay and this is Wonders package going away like that and this is opened Wonder coming to screen and like you can see, this figure is complete repaint of He-Man, which has stolen the Zodak armor and apparently painted black. He has also stole Zodak's gun and He-Man's sword And he man's half sword. Maybe someone should tell him that even if he stole other people's stuff and paints them a little bit differently, it does not mean those things belongs to him. So he is just a thief. Uh, and, well, I don't know, this is probably his own. I mean, the bread. Well, I don't know. He might have stolen this from someone. Who knows? And he has Wonder Bread logo imitation on his backpack. Maybe Wonder, Wonder Bread will sue him in the near future. Who knows? Wonder has this standard articulation, well, a standard for Masters of the Universe Classics figures. So there is a wrist, elbow, bicep, mm. shoulder, of course, head. And there is twist and crunch. 
Let's go side, back and forth. Not very much because this is stiff as well, very stiff. And around like this. Then there is a knee. and the boot and ankle suffering from loose ankle syndrome very very loose and side to side movement also so that's Wonder. Well, at least he's staying up, even though he has a loose knee. That's good. There's no. Well, at least not much of a details. Yes. And like someone, some of you might know, I'm not really fond of this figure. Well, um, actually I'm not very fond of this character. There's nothing bad about the figure itself, other than it being very boring repaint, in my opinion. But then again, I really don't like repaint. There is, of course, some exceptions like Prince Adam. Of course, that figure ha had the West that had never been on any figure before, so technically it had some original tooling. But all in all, this is a good figure and I recommend it to you if you can find it with a decent price. Of course being subscription special figure that price might be kinda high because you can only find him from resellers. Nothing really bad about my figure paint job is decent, not bad problems about that, on that not much of a details, but n well human figures never really have, and I really mean human figures, because I mean very human variants Okay, other versions of him. And most bad, the worst thing about this figure is this ankle. Of course, it's it might not be 
on every wonder so if you have good angle good for you but so this was my quick review of the Wanda figure and maybe I'll do more of this in the future we'll see but in the meantime it's goodbye and see you later uh, see, see you later